For international communism to succeed, the third world must be captured and then used as a hammer against the West. Russian troops are headed for Central America. In a decree authorized by Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega, Russia is allowed to deploy troops, planes, and ships to the country about a thousand miles south of Florida. We see the third world being unified in a common fight against so-called imperialism and colonialism, which just means capitalism, Western civilization, and white people. Russia, China, and their allies weaponize immigration against their enemies to destabilize from within. Lukashenko of Belarus did this in the fall of 2021. Putin is doing this to Finland now. And the allies of the communist bloc in Latin America are sending thousands of migrants to our border. These are the shock troops of the Cloward Piven strategy to overwhelm and crash the system and serve as a voting bloc for a permanent communist revolution. Strangely, the dissident right has begun carrying water for the regimes that prop up the communist-aligned third world. The Soviets had a term, govnoed, or shit-eater in English. This is to describe Western assets who carry communist propaganda, who live comfortable lives, enjoying the fruits of Western civilization, but ironically support the regimes that are sworn to end their way of life, which translates to murdering millions of Americans in the process. There's no better way to describe these third worldists who peddle and support communist shit and you just swallow it whole.